The conversation of school readiness during the COVID-19 pandemic has dominated the news cycle as far back as March. Since the majority of school age students attend public schools, other education systems are sometimes let out of the discussion. Over the next few weeks, News 12 will visit some of our local charter schools to learn how they're preparing to educate students for the upcoming school year. Tonight, we visit Chattanooga Prep, and that's tonight's What's Right With Our Schools. So we're actually starting the school year back remotely. Um, so starting August the 6th, our boys will um, log on and greet their new teachers. And we felt like that is the right move because we don't know if we'll end up remotely. And then we'll move into a hybrid model. The buses will have half of the students on. We'll try to get them staggered in their seats. Um, the bus drivers will be taking temps. Students are required to wear a mask. Um, once they get here to the door, we take temps again. Um, we let them pick up their breakfast because we will be eating in our classrooms so that we limit the amount of movement between classes. My priority is, is our students, you know, the safety um, of our kids coming back. Well, separating them in my PE class wouldn't be difficult at all because, you know, I have enough space in the gym to separate them at least six feet apart. Um, I'll sanitize after, before, and during, you know, each of my classrooms um, just to, you know, maintain cleanliness. We will have our floors marked so that they know which direction to go into. Um, their classes are staggered so that not everybody is in the hallway at the same time. Hey, my name is Virginia Mackey and I teach sixth grade English at Chattanooga Preparatory School. We'll make sure kids' seats are about six feet apart in every direction, so that will be something I'm thinking about as we set up for this year. I don't have a desk in my classroom this year. This is to prevent kids from going to my desk, touching stuff, picking up, sharing lots of supplies. We can't have them all tackle the bookshelves, be touching every book and putting it back. So there'll be new procedures where it'll be one kid at a time. We'll be picking out books for them. So we'll have a virtual way for them to be seeing and picking out their books. Once they grab the book that they want, there'll be a bin where they're gonna keep that book for three days of no one else touching it. It's kind of our decontamination box before a teacher then goes in and gets that book back on the shelf. We're thinking through all the nicks and crannies of what remote learning is going to look like, how to get our um, boys engaged, keep them engaged, get them logged on. We're also thinking about a totally different dismissal so that we're not, not all congregated together. So we'll be calling parent, uh, students down as parents enter into our car rider line um, so that we're not all staggered. So we're really thinking about the safety of all of the boys all of the time. Hey, if you have an idea for a story, go to our website, WDEF.com. Look for the icon that says what's right with our schools, and there you'll find a link to post your story idea.